Hi, my name is Stacey Halls. I'm the author of The Familiars and The Foundlings, and I love audio. Mr Simmons had been gone for a long time. He had said he was fetching her papers, but what if he came back with Clara? I was not expecting him to, and was not prepared. When the door began opening, I clutched the sides of the chair, thinking I might pitch forwards. But Mr Simmons entered alone, with some documents in his hand, a blue ribbon trailing where he had unwrapped them. I remained where I was, for he did not sit down, and his face was puzzled. He took an eyeglass from his desk, set the sheaf down and examined the top of them for a long moment. You say your daughter was brought in on the 27th of November, 1747? I nodded. The token you left was a piece of scrimshaw, half a heart, you say, with a B and a C engraved. Yes. He frowned and looked very hard at me. You are Elizabeth Bright. I stared at him, pushed the bundle of papers to me across the desk. Miss... Have you seen these documents before? I can't read. I plucked at the blue ribbon. Fear was rising in me, filling me like a rain bucket. Are these hers? Is she dead? Elegant script curled meaninglessly over the heavy cream paper, but I saw the numbers six and two and seven, which to me was like reading her name. Mr Simmons looked at me for what felt like a full minute, then he blinked and pulled the papers back to his side of the desk. The ribbon lay splayed between us and inexplicably all I could think was what a waste it was that something so fine should be shut up in a drawer. Mr Simmons, I don't understand, I said. Has she died? 